low. Low, low. Okay, that's good. How are you guys doing? Ooh, Melody, hello. Hope you guys had a good week. Flatline, Curry, my oh my, Raikami, Dustin Vang, hello. <clears throat> it's been a week. No, it hasn't. Yeah, it's been a week. I can say that. <laughs> did you get a haircut? I did. I've never been so excited to take an L. I have a feeling this uh, giveaway is going to be big. This giveaway is going to be big. Tell Ed to buy a Supra. Well, Ed, buy a Supra. Not sure which. Oh, wait, that was. I forgot who said it. <laughs> Haircut? Yes, I did get a haircut this weekend. I just paid a thousand channel points for this message. Nice. Please sign my key coat when you're done with it. Okay. <laughs> Yo, Caleb, hello. Key coat built today? Yeah, it's been a while since we've built a key cult keyboard on this channel. But the one we're building today, very special. Uh, let's go through everyone. High key bad things with the three months. Chill Ghoster with the six. Butterman with the two. Uh, C great with the nine. Hey, I like you. Thanks, man. A somersault thing with the ten. I just got a new coffee grinder. Very happy to not have to grind by hand anymore. Nice. Yeah, if you get a nice electrical one, it's a game changer. Uh, YKZ boards with the three months. Rick Rum with the prime. Aiden Lurks with the three. Oak Nasty with the prime. Tranquility with the fifteen. Melody, thank you for the four months. Canis Eclipse, thank you for the five. Fellow Feeling with the bits. Big Boss Gang TV with the six. I missed you. Thanks, man. Eli Ran SW, thank you so much for the four. Kijam Alisi with the eight. Invis with the 22. Tortilla Bandito with the seven. M, M Nib with the prime. Everyday Low with the prime. Chris Diego's with the prime. Neil Stig with the six. Ikel with the two. BT Easy with the 10. It's almost our one year, yeah. Alpha Ad with the 10, Code Monkey X with the 19, Mickey Me with the 8, A Pandas with the 2, Holy moly, The Far East Beat with the 7, Booski with the 8, Deco, The Cow with the Prime, Stone Terror with the Tier 1, Gen Fade with the 3, Absolute Alexa with the Prime, Warlord Kingdom with the 4, Wardeno with the Prime, Darth Teddy with the Prime, Clarkson with the 2, Taku with the 5, okay, I think I'm caught up. Wow, we have Hugo Keys today. Hello, Mr. Hugo. From Hugo Keys. Only got Twitch for this? Nice. Yeah, thankfully it's cold again. But I, it's, it's supposed to get warmer. Feels bad. A little bit of push-ups? No, no push-ups today. <laughs> there are probably some of Grove Maid's audience here. <laughs> I should pause redemption. No push-ups. I'll refund you. Uh, I'll leave the cats on. No push-ups. How cold is it? Well, it's cold by California standards. I think it's like 50-something right now. Yeah. Sigh. <laughs> what do you mean always no push-ups? I had push-ups enabled last week. What hoodie is that? It's from Ronin. Can't wait till I get 50k points. Wait. Your Twitch staff, you can just you can just change a little bit of code and give yourself three points, no? <laughs> yeah, no push-ups this. Oh, uh, I'll enable them on Wednesday. Tomorrow we're front paging for Dave's 2D Dave 2D's build. I don't want to be doing push-ups for that. You're right. You ready for a hundred? No, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, every time someone buys push-ups and you disable them, you should give more than 50k back? Huh, I do that way too often. Yo, it's Apocalypse. Things are the nine months. It's so nice I just find cooler. Yeah, it is. Hope the cats are doing well. Yeah, they're doing great. We have Soran in chat today too. Wow. Holy mo- Oh, no CC. I need to enable CC. I always forget. All right, CC should be enabled. 
It's 25 degrees here. I wish it was 25. What are they? Oh. CC is good to go. Nice. Han Solo Opa with the eight months. Simon likes cookies. Thank you so much for 10. Uh, that's Mav with the Prime. Urban Line with the 420 tip. I heard that the grapevine, a certain HHK plus B is close to arrival. Nope, it got thrown away in the Atlantic Ocean. Have not received an update on tracking. And our big fit thing is hard for the bit. Uh, Vinan with the 15 months, Young Meji with the bits, Bakrako with the 500 bits. Thank you. Jardik with the tier one, Bouncy Chillips with 13. Dang, over a year since I've known Bouncy Chillips now. Nice. Melody with the 100 bits, Pudsy with the 21 months. Show fingers? What do you want with my fingers? Clavier, thank you so much for the 20 months. Is the giveaway only the keyboard, Young Meji? Uh, there's a link. If you type in exclamation giveaway or exclamation build, it should take you to the Grove Made website. Uh, actually, I should show it off on stream. It's a nice read. I'll show it. I'll get that ready. Uh, Yagi Mutsu with the Prime. Osai with the Prime. F Conquest, thank you so much for the one year. Hentai Boy with the Prime. <laughs> Leaf C with the Prime, Rocky with the 2, Nepter with the 2 months, PD with the Prime, Kunga, Kongo with the tier 1, Ham Kenobi with the 22, CS Anasuke with the 17, Bax Tomb with the tier 1. Oh crap, there's a bunch of foreign characters. Things for the 3 months. MF things for the 2, Spencer, Michod with the tier 1, Dak 84 with the 3, Akromik with the 7, MG Kevin with the 3, Karo Kaiju with the two, 4 months. Hey, hey, hey. Doink Zulu with the five, Max Donis with the six, uh, Bob the Burden thing with the seven months, No Rag Rets with the seven, Joe Cobalt with the twenty-three months. <sighs> All right, um, yeah, let's talk about this collab. So you guys, if you guys are an OG, if you guys have been viewing my channel for a while, you guys know I've been a Grove mate stream kind of laggy. Uh, I have no dropped frames on my end. Is my stream lag? No lag? Oh, stream is fine? If it's laggy, I think you just have... I think it's ISP diff. You just have a bad internet provider. <laughs> it keeps freezing? Either Twitch diff or ISP diff. You can get rid of it by turning off low latency. I don't even know if I have that enabled. All right, we're all good. We're all good. All right. First or eighth? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys have known I've been a Grove Made fan for a while. I used to use their uh, knife. I don't know where it went. I packed it up during the move. I still haven't unboxed it. But uh, I've been a fan of Grove Made. Uh, not only their products, but just them as a brand. I really like them. Uh, they are based in Portland, I believe. Uh, Portland? I think Portland, yes. Um, they make all their products in-house, made in the USA. And they make a lot of uh, desk setup space accessories. Um, which are very nice, I really like. So let's check out. The, uh, the link that's linked. Whoops! Oh man, I leaked it. Grovemade. If you go to grovemade.com slash keycult dash collaboration, uh, you can read a little bit on how the uh, collab Ooh. came about. They gave a little word. They took some very nice pictures. And here you'll find information on the giveaway. Uh, it just requires an email to enter completely free watch live it's me and they even have some articles now so go check out the articles uh, i think they even gave some input from mr zach let's just click through Ooh, look at all these pictures why are people so crazy about mechanical keyboards switch type oop we have mr zach I actually don't know how to pronounce his last name. Alon? Zach? Alon? Alon? Founder of Key Cult, Grove Made Customer. It was a Cooler Master Quickfire Rapid with Cherry MX Brown switches. I bought it in 2013. Ooh. 
and Mr. Zack goes on to describe the different switches out there. Answer? Ooh, sound brought us in, but it's not everything. So let's set it aside for a second and consider some other technical aspects. Talk about actuation force. Ooh, all right, this just in. Zack's switch pick, Gateron. All right, go invest in Gateron, guys. Gateron stonks, they're about to rise. It's not Cherry, it's not JWK, it's Gateron. Confirmed, Key Cult likes Gateron. Mechanical keyboard structure. Ooh, mechanical keyboard community. Looks like Mr. Zach gave some more input there as well. There are a ton of amazing keyboard content creators out. Oh! Nice. A little explanation on the group eyes. Ooh, even Rama Works U80A getting a shout out. Damn, I didn't realize it could be this good. All right, yeah, there's a couple articles, neat articles they've written. If you guys are my viewers, you guys have probably seen it for a while, but um, very nice. Check out Groove Me. Also check out Key Coat, but you guys know Key Coat. All right, shall we get to the build? I have laid out the parts. I leaked already, feels bad. Ja -ja. These are the components we're going to be uh, building with today. So you guys have probably seen the video already. Uh, Michael Soledad already released a video showing off the keyboard. Uh, Grove made already released the pictures. I've shared some of the pictures as well. Same build, exact same build, but only difference is we're actually gonna build it live since uh, no one else has done that yet. But look at this. These are all, well, I guess the board technically isn't one of one. Cause I, I, I guess other units have been sent out. Look at this. I already got a lot of comments on this wrist rest. It's a beautiful wrist rest. So it's got a wooden component to it. And then I believe this bottom piece might be brass. And it's got a cork, cork bottom. Look at this. Ooh, Grove made key cult, one of one. Look at this wrist rest. Ooh. It's heavy. This is definitely heavy. Yeah, this is nice. This is a nice wrist rest. So we're gonna be using this. Um, we also have a one of one custom Key Cult X Grove made leather desk mat. Uh, I'll show it off to you guys once I remove all these components. This is nice. You guys can see the branding here. Not super invasive. I think it's pretty tasteful. Uh, very nice. Uh, I personally am not a big fan of leather desk mats. Uh, it feels nice, but I, I feel like the practicality, especially for all the gamers out there, it's not as nice as some of the other desk mats, but it definitely feels nice. It's a nice addition, but it's not my preferred material. Um, there's also the whole entire bottom here is also cork. We can show off once I remove this. Uh, it's actually natural linoleum. Okay, I just got schooled by key called. It's not. It's not leather. <laughs> I thought. I assumed it was the leather one based off their website, but it is natural linoleum. Uh, now let's go through the parts. This top piece here, aluminum. Um, this ha this is seracoded not anodized uh this was done by <clears throat> whoever grove made works with okay it's already getting all my finger oils <laughs> but this is a black cerakote through a grove made's provider i believe all the parts here were cnc machined by key cult um, ex with the exception of the wood grove made does a lot of wood stuff so the wood was done by grove made cnc machining is all by key cult and then I believe Grove Made also did the uh, finishing, the finishes for this. So look at this, we have the raw, raw aluminum middle piece. All right. How do you guys feel about these mach raw machine marks? Agree or disagree? I personally really like it. 
I don't know if I want all my keyboards to look like this, but there is a, there, it has character. It's a, it's a look. Yes or no, do you guys like this? Nice to see you reading my next sticky for the cake. All right, there's the serial number, whatever that means. 0265V1-A-0, 95, go write that down. If you guys ever uh, find this unit being flipped, that's how you know. Ooh, look at those machine marks. This is beautiful. This is, this is the story of a keyboard's life. This is how a keyboard is born, chat. Oh my goodness, Candy Root. Thank you so much for the host. Oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> Today we're building a uh, keyboard, a Grovemate slash Key Cult. Collaborate. Oh. Number two, this is engraved. Oh, you can actually see it. I thought this was just laser like the other one, but this is actually engraved. So that's the Grovemate logo, Key Cult logo. I like this. It's like, what do you call this pattern? This repeating pattern. It looks cool. Yo, this is sick. We have to install the feet. Oh, you can see this is what the uh, the cutout for the bump on looks like without the bump on, and it's raw state. So this bottom piece here is brass. This is heavy. It's a very skinny, and it's still really it's still thick, thicker than a plate for sure. But look at this. Ooh. Oh my goodness. What? Night Fader, holy, thank you so much for the tip. The way he says raw? Do I say raw in a funny way? This here is a beautus. This is the uh, bottom half of the USB cutout. Man, this is too beautiful to build. But alas, I must build it. Can you feel the marks with your finger? Uh, the marks, I cannot feel. No, you don't actually feel it. It's more of a visual thing. It's very smooth. Yeah, like I'm, I'm not worried at all about my fingers getting cut. It feels extremely smooth, but it's just more of a visual thing. You can see it. Real gold, this is not gold. This is brass. <laughs> this is brass. All right, so unfortunately, we're gonna have to put this aside for now because we are going to build it up. Holy moly though. Yeah, so when I posted this on my socials, I got asked the most about this wrist rest. So I don't know if you guys really like this wrist rest, if you guys are actually in the market to purchase a Grove Mate slash Key Cult wrist rest, I don't know, let them know. Don't spam them obviously, but this is very beautiful. This is very nice. Um, so everything you're seeing here that's being built on stream will be given away as mentioned before Check out the command for it. It'll take you to a link where you can join The uh, giveaway. I believe it runs until Friday and then a winner will be contacted slash picked then the 13th I believe All right, let's put this away for now since we don't need it. Ooh, by the way, this is what a number 265 looks like. It's not screwed in, but look at this. Ooh, this bottom. What? The way it catches the light and it accentuates, what do you call this, grills? It looks so cool. I mean, it's smooth. It's completely smooth, but the way it looks, it almost looks like it's like, it has grills on it. Ooh. All right, let's put this away for now. Right, let's set this aside right here. Check and see. Oh, wait, let's show off the leather desk mat. That's what we need to show off first. Before we get that done. Sorry, not, la not leather. Natural linoleum. Oh my goodness, gym leader Nathan. Thanks so much for the 10 gift of subs. What? 
Holy moly. Alright, so this is what the bottom looks like. Ooh. So this is the bottom. And then this is the other side. I will also say this desk uh Grove made sizing is not standard, I wanna say. So this is bigger than my oh god, autofocus, please. I'm gonna need something for it to focus. I'll just leave this here. <laughs> uh, this desk mat is bigger than the uh, 900 by 400 that I have. They have a small, they have small, medium, large, X large, but they don't have a 900 by 400. I, I believe this is the closest size to it, but it, it's way bigger. Uh, I'm zoomed up. Actually, actually, we can do this. I could zoom out. Oh no! Oh my camera. Hold on. Oh, it's so small now. What? All right, you guys can see more of my desk. So yeah, uh, if I bring out this is a this is a big desk man. <laughs> My desk, my desk is a uh, F. Wait, the stream die? Oh, F because it's black, huh? Yeah, my desk is a six feet desk. If we bring out our regular keyboard enthusiast, this is a 900 by 400 desk mat. So you got all this space over here. Uh, height wise. It looks like it is 400, but you got you got a little bit more room on this, on lengthwise. So just something to keep in mind. They have all their dimensions on their website, so just make sure you take a look at that. Dayquil, yeah, I've been taking some Dayquil. Uh, I did get sick two weeks ago, so preventative measure. I've still been taking a little bit. All right, but yeah. Natural linoleum desk mat right here, guys. Let's change this back. Uh oh. It's gonna F again. I don't know why it Fs every time I change resolution. Oh god, now it's huge. Wait, wait, wait. We good. Visible drugs on camera? Come on. We'll bring this back. We'll just have it on display for now while we do the other stuff. All right, let's take a look at the, uh, the components we'll be using today. We're going to be using some novel keys, cream switches. They have been lubed, not by myself. Uh, I believe Key Cult found, I don't know if they lubed it themselves or if they commissioned a lube, luber on the community forums, but these have been lubed. Uh, I got sent a bunch of gaskets. Anyone need gaskets? Dude, I got gaskets for days. Look at all these gaskets I got sent. In case, in case one of these rips, you know, can never be too, never be too safe for a stream like this. Key called dedicated luber as a position. <laughs> I need gaskets. Yo, Zombumon, I got gaskets. I'll do. I'll deal you some gaskets. Uh, I believe this was also used in Michael's video that I watched this morning. Um, we got a ca matching cable made by another uh, community vendor, community member, Zap Cables. So we will have a aviator z uh, Zap Cables to use for the build. And then of course, the PCB and plate. Salvin already has them? Oh, yeah, it's, it's cheaper for you to just ask Salvin. All right. 
Ooh. Well, let's show off the plate first. Wait, I thought I was going to build with a brass plate. This does not feel like brass. Portal, my Squirtle, hello. Cult wrapping paper, very nice. Oh, it is brass. Okay. Just felt very light for some reason. So this here, the latest and greatest Key Cult number 265. Brass plate. Leaf spring gasket mount plate right here. You should reuse it for Christmas. Dude, honestly, this packaging alone here, I could probably flip on Mech Market. This is a hundred dollars worth of packaging. Why would I use it to gift gift wrap Christmas presents? <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the PCB. Easy clap. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't think anyone actually sells cares about. Alright. We've got the beautiful red colored key cult. 65% PCB revision 2. Look at the color on this. Oh, PCB is always so hot. Confirm. Agree. You can never get sick or tired of unboxing a brand new Loba PCB. It just looks so nice. So nice. All right. And we need the daughter cable. Daughter board something. Will it go well with chocolate caps? Uh, you could use chocolate caps on this. I think brown and black goes pretty well. Kiko packaging with Taya germs, <laughs> at least 350. Oh my goodness. What does this keyboard cost? You know, that's a good question. I also got some people asking me that. Uh, if I were to base this off, if I were to set a retail value for this, not that it's going to be sold for retail, at least as far as I know. I don't know, maybe, maybe it might, but currently this only exists as a one of one keyboard. Uh, I would just go off key codes commissions chart. You can find how much key cult charges for a one-off commission. They already said $800? Wait, where? Did I miss key cult? Well, this is technically a one-off. You get to keep- I am not keeping this. I am sending this back to Grove Made. I believe this is the unit that will be given away. I am not keeping this. I am returning it. All right, let's test the PCB first. <clears throat> Would you ever consider doing a speed build? <sighs> not really. <laughs> Maybe for a personal keyboard. I definitely wouldn't for a client build. Upcoming black and brass will be 800. Oh, I see, not this board. Oh, okay, there you go. If you guys do want to pick this up, there is an upcoming black and brass variant, just won't have the uh, Grove Made collaboration logo on it. And it will be retailing for $800 on keycult.com. Where did you get those, those bowls? They are from Rama Works. And sorry if I miss subs, I'll, I will get to them in a bit. Where's the P? Oh, there we go. 
Black Brass 265 is so stunning. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, black and brass. Black and yellow. It's a very classic colorway. Yo, Zekin, hello. Hello, Dad. It's me, your... S okay, buddy. <laughs> You're trying to make me sound bad. <laughs> I, do, I do love Zekin, though. I did uh, receive my ogre last week. I don't know when I'll get to building it, though. I have so many builds to get through. I do want to build up the ogre, though. The poger? Is that a thing now? The poger. All right, I'm gonna build this with the seven U bottom row. Cause that's the best bottom row. Uh, actually, I don't think I have a choice. I was sent stabilizers. I think it had a 70. All right, PCB works fine. How's my keyboard build coming along? Okay. Okay. Tempest keycap pullers. Is this actually Tempest keycap pullers? They have some jank naming going on. Thank you so much for the seven months. Uh, Sick of you, thank you so much for the four. X Rilo with the prime. Joseph Rojas with the five. Cesaris, thanks for gifting us up. Geeks don't panic with the five. Uh, it's just me with the prime. Charlie with the eight. Awesome with the three. The coconut with the three. Cactus juice, magic things with prime. Hey, haze, hey five. Things with the eight. Bob the burn things with the bits. Blue Lenny with the two months. A uh, tip. Turtle my squirtle. Thanks so much for the seventeen months. Superstition with the five. Nairi Co with the prime. The kiwi with the four months. Thank you, thank you. Don't drop coffee on that PCB. I have yet to drop coffee, but you are correct. I should be careful. Galar says, hello. The fact that you can hold any liquid within five millimeter, five meters of anything keyboard related. Wow, what's wrong with water? I mean, I got my coffee here. I got my bottle of water. I got some eye drops. I've got some lube. I've got a fountain pen. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, I've also got some Dayquil pills. I guess if these happen to just pop. <laughs> Why is that? Okay, Soran, you're toxic. <laughs> Uh, this desk mat is flaring a little. I'm gonna put the wrist rest here. Uh, I did prepare three stabs in advance. We just need to work on two more stabs. Hello. The space bar. Definitely the screws. I have this keyboard. <laughs> Okay, solid. Why are you not present during Soran's concert? I was out when uh, he had his concert, unfortunately. Feels bad. All right, let us lube. These two stabilizers. Yo, Mr. Poner, hello. Trade my home gym for this keyboard. Wait, I don't get to keep this keyboard, guys. I am sending this back to GroveMade. If you guys would like any kind of rigging, GroveMade is the company to contact, not me. I am not hosting this giveaway. I am merely just building it for them. <laughs> what stabilizers? We are using the Duroc stabilizers off of Prime keyboards. You can purchase some at primekb.com slash types if you want to use my affiliate link to help support the channel. Isn't it scary to be mailing one of one items through UPS? Uh, yeah, I mean, there is always a, uh, there is always a risk. 
but what can we do? Grove made is Portland. Yep, they are based in Portland. Uh, I believe they also CNC in house, but yeah, they are pretty much a made in USA company. All their parts are sourced and made here in the States. I know some people are very big on that. Everyone here is just looking for giveaway rigs. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow you're on front page, right? Yes, tomorrow I am. But yeah. This is how, in my opinion, collabs should be done. It's nice to see a company like Rovemade getting introduced to the hobby through a company like Keycult. And then they work, they collaborate. It's a win-win for everyone. Grovemate gets a proper exposure to the custom mechanical keyboard scene. They do it right, working with a existent, reputable vendor. That's what it's about. <clears throat> Would you ever play K-pop on stream? I will never. <laughs> I don't want to get DMCA banned for playing K-pop. Their bar is going to be set quite high considering Key Cult was their first foray into Keeves. True. That is true. That's a major? Yeah, that's a way too big of a DMCA threat. Is Prime KB a US vendor? Yes, they are. They are based in the States. Got him? Wait, got him for what? What I do? <laughs> feed the cats? I'll feed the cats at the end. I, I did see someone redeemed it. I'll do it at the, at the end. I do have cats on this channel if you guys are new here. And you guys like cats? I have four cats. And sometimes they make appearances. Not you, Nathan? Oh, feels bad. Feels bad. What's your camera? I stream using EOS R's for both my top down and face cam. Doesn't all the hair break the PCBs? Nope. I also vacuum daily, sometimes twice daily. I try to keep this area clean at least, but yeah, cat hair definitely exists here. Um, when I do ship boards out, I do package them in like a cat-free zone in my house. But it is possible, that is correct. Is it only me or does he keep freezing? Uh, it might be a Twitch or ISP thing. It might also be... If you have an ad blocker on, uh, I know Twitch has been trying to combat ad blockers as of late. That might also be affecting. You might have better performance on Twitch if you disable ads. And I'm not saying that to make ad money off you guys, like legit. <laughs> I think I've been seeing people get hit with lower, they get hit with lower quality streams sometimes if an ad block is detected. Um, sometimes I think you get hit with more ads if an ad blog is detected. I've been seeing some reports. Nice haircut. Thank you. 
and use your free to oh, okay Zambuma. <laughs> there's new fixes what fixes on a hot swap is it possible to swap out a full plate rather than switch by switch I don't think I understand your question. What do you mean swap out a full plate? You don't lose the stem of the stabs? What is the stem? Oh, I do not. I don't think it's necessary. Stabs are much more forgiving than switches are. What lube do you use? I am currently using Crytox 205 Grade Zero. That is my preferred lube of choice when it comes to lubing stabilizers. Do you know what the pinging and glorious pandas is caused by? I'm not too sure. Probably the leaf. New brushes? Uh, I've been using these brushes for a while. Same brushes. Jennifer, hello! Alright. Let me close this up. So, you want two Brumats? Wait, is Brumat actually going to be a reality? I thought it was a meme. I mean, if you want to send me a Brumat glasses, I'll use it. Although, I, it does feel a little weird. Assuming it's an actual, like, high-quality print of Glarsis's face. It is a little spooky. <laughs> Just having his face here, like, staring at me. I'm going to get all four colors. Oh my goodness. Let me get my uh, screwdrivers. <laughs> Alright, let me also get through some of the subs. Sorry, I've been not getting to it. Uh, there are probably new people here, so I don't want to spend too much time just reading it, but we're going to slow part of the build. Shanzi thinks we're the prime, Riot thinks we're the prime, Kragen thinks we're three months, Chenipo with the 22 months, Zedekis with the prime, Nadaya with the two months, Elliot Peters with the two, you rock, watching you makes me happy, thank you. An anonymous trio with the bits, drop it with the six months, Silence thinks we're the bits. Any update on the name? The switches used for the first, uh, no update. Corbin with the bits, KCON Fire with the 19 months, Bert Key with the Prime, not Barney with the four, Daj Pika, long time no see. Thank you so much for the 18 months, Mr. Mojo with the Prime. Is Key Cult selling any cases right now? They do not. Have anything in not at least cases they don't have it in stock yet but if you sign up for their newsletter you'll be notified so whatever their next drop is Ditto, thank you so much for the bits. Take my power to build this beautiful machine keyboard. Thank you. Uh, Mafia Dons with the Prime. What do you think about the NK65 Olivia edition from Novel Keys? I think it looks great. Anything Olivia touches is gold. I'm a, I'm a big Olivia simp. I like, I like all her designs. Did 
Did you ever lube those 9009 inks on the 9009 power build? I did not lube any switches for Dixie's power builds. He figured out the lubing himself. Sorehand simp? Dude, nothing wrong with being an Olivia simp, man. Olivia is a worthy person to simp for. Do you even know the definition of simp? I think so. Is warped PCB a problem? I don't think so. I mean, unless you're talking about serious warpage, I think it's fine. I have yet to see a PCB that is warped to the point where it's unusable. All right, stabilizers have been installed. Let's bring out the plate. Wool part, they supposed to three months. see snipes in action today? No, no snipes today. Also a reminder, tomorrow I will be front paging on Twitch. We are going to be building Mr. Dave2D his very first actual nice custom mechanical keyboard. Are you gonna see pipes? Never. You'll never see pipes. Giveaways do love creams. I, this is all Kiko's choice. That seems like the wrong spot. How about a single pipe? Okay. Okay. Seems like lube job is pretty decent. Good amount of lube, I like. When are you gonna show off your new toy? Uh, maybe, I think soon. I am filming a setup video soon. <laughs> Mr. Daniel. All right. You guys have seen the keycaps already. We are going to go with the drop wipe on black keycaps a must-have staple in any keyboard enthusiasts collection if you are a keyboard enthusiast and you don't own a set of white on black you should reconsider your life decisions How drop ships it? Why is right shift here and left shift here? I guess I'm considering my life decisions. <laughs> he doesn't know? I don't know. Well, this definitely it was not a brand new set. Definitely bought it off someone. Have you seen the mini Minicom 4 white on black alphas? I have. Hell no, Sabe, I don't. I 
I can use a little bit more. Space bar sounds pretty clean. It sounds clean. Just the left shift needs a little bit more. This is where we bring out our syringe. That is an old white on black. Oh, true. That's right. I have seen the new white on blacks ship with the trash GMK sets, the trays now. Is this not the exact board that Michael Soledad had? Uh, I don't think so. I think this is a different. I think they had multiple units made. Because all the components here are new. The parts are pretty much pristine. All right, let's insert the rest. Did you remove or add? I added lube with the syringe. Uh, Major Spooks, welcome back for three months. Suzashi, thanks so much for the five months. Plunix, thanks so much for the three months. Foolish Magic with the three months. Oh, whoa, Clack Keys, thanks so much for the host. Sorry, I missed it. Thank you, thank you. Yuli, welcome back for 17 months. Are your thumbs gonna be okay? Yeah, my thumbs gonna be okay. When does the giveaway end? Uh, Friday, November 13th. You will have to check the website for the exact time. Is this board hot swap? It is not. I'm going to be soldering once all these switches are pushed through. Certified e-girl. Thank you so much for the two months. And great horn. Thank you so much for the prime. I'm not sure if this is normal, but my spacebar makes a slight weird noise when I press on one side of it. Any idea what it could be? Yeah, it could be a lot of things. I <laughs> hard to diagnose without seeing it in person. What a name? Yeah. Is this particular one going to be given out or is this build to be sent back? I believe this is the unit being given away. I could be wrong though. How are you choosing where you place the switches? I am not. I'm just mindlessly shoving it in <laughs> for this particular build i don't think it really matters i'm not too worried about the plate bowing so i'm just going wherever i feel like Switch fitment in that plate looks pretty good. Yeah. I'm not having too much trouble pushing it in. And once it's once it's in, it feels like it's a pretty it's a pretty nice snug fit. Does it matter where a switch is put? Uh, for certain positions, yes. For here you could put caps lock in two different positions. For the alphas, there's only one place you could put it in. Hey, after 10 resumes and server interviews later, I finally got a job and today's my first day. Yo, congrats. The rice maker, you got a job. Wait, if it's your first day on the job, it's your first day on the job 
and you're watching my stream, you're about to get fired. Quax Chen, thank you so much for the four months. Wizard of the Coin, thanks for the seven months. Matt Chu with the Prime. <laughs> Homies on lunch? What time is it? What do you mean lunch? It's 2.04. I don't think it's lunchtime for Mr. Rice Maker. I'm guessing he's US based. There's a good chance he's in the US. I mean, I've watched all your early streams while on the job. Yes, while on the job, fine. But on your first day of work and you have a Twitch stream open, it's kind of sus. When I worked retail, I wouldn't take lunches until 3 to 4 p.m. What? That is not a lunch break. That's a... That's a liner. <laughs> no, I'm in Korea and it's 7 a.m. Oh, you're in Korea. Okay. My, I, I was just going off my stats. Nice. Good night, 11 p.m. here and I've got school and a job interview. Well, hope your school and job interview goes well. It's never a fun time recruiting. Why do you think I became a Twitch streamer? I was too lazy to study up for interviews for recruiting. So I was just like, eh, F it. First or eighth, I'll pursue streaming. I absolutely hated recruiting. <laughs> In retail, lunch is just slaying for the unpaid 45 minute break. Ah, I see. You think you'll have to pay taxes on the giveaway? Oh, that's a good question. Legally speaking, you're supposed to. I don't think IRS cares though. <laughs> Can't confirm lunch breaks while working retail are awful. Dang. You don't, you really don't like smooth four month hiring processes? No, I absolutely hate it. <laughs> what should we name a new one? All right, let me just confirm the right alt is in the correct spot. It is. All right. You can now move to soldering. Uh, I am going to have to return this mat. So I'm going to remove it for soldering. I don't want the solder sparks to fly all over this. So I'm gonna set this aside for now. You missed the key? Oh, oops, did I? You're right, I did. Yeah, I do have to return the desk mat as well. So let us... Are they giving away the mat? That? I am not too sure. I want to say it's just the keyboard. Because the mat itself is... You know, I, I finally have money to spend it out. Yes, they are? Okay, they are, I guess. Yeah, it's all in the article. I did not... Should I join? I mean, I want to join. I want to win this. But even if I want it, Grove Maid will probably be like, nah, we're not giving it to you. It's gonna make us look rigged. 
Sorry. <laughs> Actually, that's that's any giveaway I join. I no longer have the uh, the opportunity to join giveaways. Look at the case. It has one key blocked. It is not a win keyless build. We are good. Make a smurf for giveaways? But then that's lying. Looks like your fan needs some cleaning. Yeah, I definitely need to clean this. It's been a while. All right, let's get to soldering. Do you join raffles for artisans? I do. I do join the raffles for artisans. Um, artisan raffles tend to be pretty fair. <clears throat> Is it time for me to leave? Why are you leaving? You get sent board to keep anyway. No, I'm not keeping this. I am shipping this back to growth me. This is the giveaway board. If I win the giveaway, I'll give it to you. Hey, how if you hang out with me? <laughs> okay. That's gonna look hella sus. I don't know, you might want to keep it after you feel it though. This is a very nice board. Where'd you get that sponge holder? Looking good. Uh this? This came with the TS 100 This came with my Hako which I don't no longer use, but I'm pretty sure you could buy them separately. All right, let me just solder the uh, anchor points first. What does stock switches mean? Stock switches mean as is from the factory, no kind of modding done to the switches. You can mod switches. Who came up with the switch choice for this build? I believe, uh, I'm pretty sure Kikot and Grove may probably went back and forth to decide what switch to use. Yours came with a holder? It did. Have you lived in Korea? Yes, I was born in Korea. And then I immigrated. George likes creams? I like creams too. These are definitely going to need some break-in. But once they're broken, then the cream sound nice. Imagine winning it and the first thing you do is desolder the creams. <laughs> Nah, no way. I have a strong feeling the person who wins this is probably going to be someone who is new to custom keyboards. I mean, this is predominantly a Grove Made event, as it's being hosted on Grove Made. Actually, I guess I guess there's a good chance customers of Grove Made might be into custom keyboards. I've been seeing a lot of custom keyboards instead of videos now. I don't know, maybe. We'll see how it sounds. Bro, if I win this, I'll have too many cream bars now? Well, yeah, that's right, you won the other one. You won the hatchet that was built with the bag lube creams that I built during the subathon. Oh no, Catboy, thanks for forgifting a sub. Heo Aaron, thanks for the tier one. Superman's brother with the five months. King Kaiza with the prime. Toasty, thanks for the tip. 
What sparked your love for keyboards and making keyboards? Also, what is generally the best lead? Uh, what sparked my love for keyboards? Uh, honestly, it was it was the aesthetics and sound. Once I discovered you can actually make keyboards look and sound nice outside of gamer RGB loud clicks, I was hooked. I do, I do think the, uh, the artistic side of keyboards is very beautiful. Joke's on you, he hates keys. <laughs> Uh, what is generally the best lube? I would say, well, it depends what you're lubing. But if you're a beginner, I recommend 3204 for switches. exciting this weekend supposedly it hailed here in Corona I did not get to see that I built a keyboard nice I slept for one hour you only slept for one hour over the weekend that's not healthy it also hailed in your Belinda oh. It was pretty windy here. Has anyone tried polishing a switch stem? I feel like someone probably has. Solder degrees in Celsius, 357 right now. 356. I built a certain key that was sent. Yo, croissant, wait, TFTI to stream? Wait, on your Twitch channel? Crap, do I not follow you on Twitch? I don't know if I follow you on Twitch. Oh, I don't. Feels bad. I didn't know you streamed. I know I just streamed it on Discord. Wow, TFTI. TFTI. How was it? Hopefully no issues. Uh, do you have any discounts for Grove Made? I'm thinking about buying. Ooh, I do not. I do have an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any extra, but no discounts, unfortunately. I'm not sure of anyone who has a Grove Made discount for that matter. Otherwise, I too would have hopped on it. Song flexing, rip Nathan. Yeah, feels bad. I got more solder in the mail and finally see. Oh, you did. I didn't catch the restream then. All right. How many of you guys saw this Grove Mate slash Key Cult collaboration coming? Did anyone even expect it? Who saw this Grove Mate x Key Cult collab? Not me, no. My stream was so scuffed. I knew about it. Okay, I know you and I know your group knows about it. So I saw it coming a year ago. Are you sure? If you sign up for their newsletter, they'll give you ten percent off. I think. Ooh, I see. It's been a while since I joined their <laughs> newsletter. I might have used that a long time ago. Unless they just give everyone 10. My mom told me about it last week. Nice. Does your mom work for Grove Mate or Key Cult by any chance?
What's the general break-in period for crate switches like creams? Uh, I would say at least a month. You can feel a difference for creams even after a week. Yeah, definitely after a week you can feel a difference, assuming you use it daily. Uh, if you daily use it for about a month, it's at a, it's at a decent point, I would say. It obviously gets better the longer you use it. What do you mean by break-in switches? What do they need to be broken in? Why do they need to be broken in? Oh, right, there are maybe newcomers. So the term break-in uh, refers to the fact when they switch, a switch that is fresh off the mold from the factory, uh, there's a lot of micro abrasions, pores that you might not see with your visible eye, but it exists. So just fresh off the mold, the, uh, the rubber, the plastic on plastic action might not be very smooth. Break-in just refers to the fact that you uh, consistently use that switch until you essentially, through friction, even and smoothen that out. At which point you can noticeably feel the smooch, the switch is smoother. Holy, I cannot speak today. That is what is referred to as break-in. What is mi espanita? <laughs> I, I actually said smooch of the switch. I need to refresh chat? All right, I'll refresh chat. How long is the typical break-in? It depends on the switch. Uh, even if it's the same switch, depends on just how good the mold was, what condition the mold is. Some switches, you can break it in in a matter of weeks. Some take a matter of months. Some switches, it could take years, decades. Uh, do you ever use the standing feature of your desk? Yes, I use it quite regularly. I don't know, I, for me, after a while, like if I'm sitting at my desk for, once I hit like the four or five hour mark, if I've been sitting the whole time and then I like stand up, sometimes like I get dizzy or like, Un unwell <laughs> so I try to I try to rotate between standing up and sitting every three hours four hours ish I think the newer uplift desks actually uh, depending on which module you get it'll even come with like a reminder to help you consistently uh, encourage that action I mean, if, you, if you've never worked standing up because you don't like it or you don't intend to, there's no point in getting a standing desk, really. Uh, how did you manage all of your cables with a standing desk? Cable management does not exist for a streamer. <laughs> um, I... I don't have the luxury of like drilling into the wall to hide all my cables. You just embrace it. Especially with like how many lights and like cameras I have, there's no cable management. <laughs> I've tried to a certain degree, but there's no point. Alex Elto's would beg to differ. Is his cable management clean? Not true. Being able to adjust height is better than just adjusting height on a chair. That's true. That's not true, Nathan. Just buy a cable channel for under your desk. No, no, no. I'm saying I have cable managed. I have cable managed to a degree. Well, I can't entirely hide all my cables. I have yet to see a streamer who has no cables showing as a streamer. Hey, a hair? Yes.
Maybe you can be the first. You use a Chemex to brew your coffee. Yes. Have you used the AeroPress? I have not personally used the AeroPress. I have had drinks from an AeroPress though, made by others. Alex Otis's cable management is cleaner than a baby's butt. Can I see a picture? Can I also see what gear he has? I mean, depend. I guess depending on how you position your. He wants, no, a picture of Alex Otis's cable management. on soldering. Stefan's cable management is also clean. Dude, Stefan. <laughs> I don't know how that man operates. I feel like his workflow is so inefficient. And he could make his life so much easier if he like, I don't know, he just, he just bought a warehouse. He could easily hire someone that can like help him with streamlining his stuff. <laughs> it is insane how he operates. Cleanest picture of Alex Elto's setup I could find. Okay. My question is, where are his cameras? Where are his lights? They are not in this picture. Where are his two cameras? I mean, he has like three cameras, right? He has three or four cameras. Where, where are those? Where are his lights? How do you cable manage that? I'm pretty sure he doesn't stream with just his window lighting his room. The, the computer and desk is the easy part. It's cable managing. Like I have overhead cameras and lights. I can't. No matter how much I try, I cannot cable manage that. Unless I dig into the wall, but I, I don't have the luxury to. All right. I finished soldering. I think he changed his mic twice since then. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he doesn't use this mic anymore. Updated pick for this year with Cam and Mike. Uh, why is this picture so small? I don't know if this is 100%. Doesn't he have a third camera now? Wait, but what does it look like? This doesn't show me anything. <laughs> this picture does not show me anything. Show me underneath the desk. That's where all the cables go. This literally cuts it off at the desk. Here, a bigger picture. Oh God, I feel like Soran's gonna troll me. feel like this is oh, okay it is bigger <laughs> yeah i mean it's not hard to make it look nice on top of the table i'm show me how it looks like on the bottom underneath the table that's where the cable management happens this doesn't tell me anything doesn't even trust sorian dude not after the subathon <laughs> No trusting Soran's link after the subathon. <laughs> Soran would never troll. <laughs> okay, buddy. All right, let's te test the uh, the straightness of these modifier keys. Uh, enter is fixed, so that's nice. 
Backspace is not fixed. Oh, left shift is fixed here. Okay. We just need to check caps lock. Caps lock, bottom row, and backspace. I trust Soran? Yeah, because Soran doesn't troll you, Poner. Can they still be bent even with a fixed plate? Uh, they, they can, but I, I've i used key cold boards enough to know they don't. But I guess you are correct. It is possible they still get bent. Poner and Zambu, probably only two that trust Soran. Yeah, because Soran doesn't... <laughs> Saran isn't toxic to them. Where do you get your cables from? I have a command, exclamation cables. Code. All right, that's all the keys we need so far. Oh, wait, Mr. Miles is here. Yo, I'm playing Among Us with the Try Guys on the charity stream on Saturday. If you want to bring the sus keyboard energy. <gasps> Hello, Miles. Oh, this Saturday? It depends on time. I might be out this Saturday. It depends. <sighs> Why this Saturday? No, I have I had something pre-scheduled. Depends on the time. Do I ditch this event for Miles? All right, the caps lock looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, key code plate's really nice. Left side is pretty much straight. Uh, Alpha, four, five, one, two, things for the nine months. Holy cow, it's Jason with the prime. Ooh. All right, backspace looks pretty good too. This board is straight. Maximize the keyboard volume if you... <laughs> Alex Altos has a video explaining his cable management? All right, I'll take, I'll take a look afterwards. Whoa, Mr. Smoth, hello. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll play again soon. It'll be early afternoon, like one to three. All right, I'll, I will get back to you. I don't even know when this thing on Saturday is, but yeah. I would definitely love to. It's just I have something pre-planned. Ah, oh, there's a chance I might not. Who knows, maybe I have COVID. I am getting tested tomorrow, so I could attend this event on Saturday, but it's possible. Maybe I have COVID and I can't go this Saturday. Maybe I'll fake I have COVID even if I don't, so I could play with Miles and the Try Guys. <laughs> Dope, dope, just DM me on Twitter. All right, got it. What did Kiko say? You have a great backspace. Thank you. Super quick build. Yeah, I do prep most of the stabilizers before stream now. And I also, this is only a 65%. Plus it's a key cult build. Things rarely go wrong here, so. I've not watched streaming forever. Yeah, I feel like I haven't seen your name in chat in a while. Let's test this to make sure I did not miss a switch. I believe this is the function key. Yes. All right, everything works perfectly. How would you rate the switch tuning? Great or the best? Oh, I mean, I haven't put the alphas on yet. I haven't put the alphas on. Let's wait until the whole, whole keycaps on. But I do like the amount you used. This is probably how thick I like my creams. Yeah, I, they, they're definitely not over lubed. This is a good amount, a healthy coating, which I like. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands because I touch solder.
and I'm back. I am back. My hands are still a little wet. Mr. Franco, thanks for the two months. Tai Do with a tier one sub. Thank you, thank you. All right, it is time to assemble this keyboard. Uh, I'll bring out the mat at the end. I don't wanna scratch it. All right, this is the case. Those of you guys just tuning in now. Oh, there's also some. There's some stabilizer screws still left over. What is the black knife you can flick open and close called? I couldn't find it on drop. I don't remember the name of it. <laughs> All right, I might need some hand holding here. No, key cult normally applies the gaskets for me, but this time he didn't. Sag. Okay, there are groove marks here. So we can just apply these right here. I'm here for you. All right, let's see if I can get this gasket. Installation right. Okay, it's the perfect length. Nice. Perfect. Is it Zach or George? I want to say, based off who's based off their uh, texting, I want to say it's George on the Key Cult account right now. <clears throat> I feel like I can tell by the way they talk. Plus, I'm sure Zach is probably busy CNC. Playing around with a CNC machine. George has been handling a lot of the uh, front facing key code business. Man, this cut the cutout for the gasket is like spot on. Very nice. Hey, how calling me late? Wait, I'm not calling you lazy. What? What did I say that? What? What did I say? <laughs> Insinuated you were lazy. I just said Zach does most of the CNC stuff. And George handles the, the front facing portion of the business. <laughs> it's probably George Zach is. What do you mean? This is, this is work, George. This is work. Building community relationships, social media presence, that's work. That is a legitimate job in today's day and age. People don't get that. People think it's plain, but it's, it's actually a lot of work. Best linear switches, I have a command, exclamation best linears. NFF15 things with a tier one sub. Someone other than new things with a prime gave the guard. Thank you so much for tier one. Terrence swaps with the prime. Thank you, thank you. TT key call sponsorship and probation. Oh no. Wait, this is shorter. Okay, this goes right here. gaskets have been applied and then I'm guessing the other half is on the top piece ah, yes it is. Well, let's talk about the Cerco finish this is nice it's got a very this doesn't 
just feels like more of an e-coat than Cerakote, to be honest. It's got a very satin finish, almost velvety. It's not, I wouldn't call this like chalky. It's more on the velvety side. Cerakote can be nice if the shop doesn't try to do it the same way as a gun. Mm. Yeah, this is a very like satin and velvety Cerakote finish. Uh, looks pretty consistent as well, but I feel like it's a given for Cerakote. I need my other, other sheet. Oh, now I'm wondering. Was my knife Cerakoted then? Dunwa KR, hello. I've had a similar Cerakote, probably 16 to 1 ratio of activator. It gives a very velvety black color. Mmm. Yeah, I do like it. It was? Oh, I see. No wonder the the uh, the color held up so well. I did roughhouse that knife quite a bit. That explains it, because it was Cerakoted. Very cool. I'm gonna be done milling Irma Mold tonight. Rukia starts tomorrow. Ooh, Pog. All right. Getting a secret 75% board coming soon, so excited to build it. Rukia, can we get some Norba Wokes in chat? Spam the Norba Wokes. First person to break the Norba Woke chain gets banned. Panda Warrior, things are for the Prime. Side Mod, things are for the four months. <laughs> Getting a secret 75% board coming soon. So excited to build it. Nice. Oh my freaking poner. <laughs> just instigate 20 normal wokes with just seeing Rukia. Fool Rukia is a sacred word that must be used sparingly. What is this copy pasta? <laughs> is that the origin of normal? No, that can't be. That has to be a reaction. Copy pasta. It's a garbo copy pasta I made. Oh my goodness. All right. Caskets have been installed. Where is that bag of screws? So I see the alignment posts here. These are the bump on feet. We're gonna need to do the screws now. Oh, Luffy's on the table. Let's see, where do these alignment posts go? They go here. On the edge. We stand a man who can do menial tasks? Yeah, that's partially the existence. That's partially why people send me to the build streams. Because I take care of all the menial tasks. All right, alignment posts have been installed. I also need to install these base plate screws first. Don't 
Do I scrap? I think I screw on the daughter board first, huh? Hmm. I don't recall doing this. Daughter board should be screwed on first. I swear on the older number twos, daughter board was not on the underside. On this kit you do? I see, yeah, I'm noticing. And it only takes two screws instead of three, or instead of the four. All right. On the number two TKL, it's on the top. I see. All right, fun fact there, chat. Oh, okay, I see, I see. I see the routing channel here too. Ah, I see. So that's what these two screws must be for. I'll make a build video before they are sold. Yeah, glad I caught that. This uh, Allen wrench. Does it fit? It does not fit. Those are for small screws. Yeah, it's using a 1.5 hex. It's not the smallest. Make sure it's in here tight. Okay, that's been done. Built my first custom board this weekend on the head some more and stand by. I am auditing. Is it supposed to be flipped? George, no, it's not. I'm stupid. It does not. There's no way it fits that way. It should be like this. Yes, it's supposed to be flipped. No, I got it right. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you scared me. You scared me. Noticing the spacing on the bottom is much different for the base plate as opposed to the number two TKO on this number two sixty five. I'm guessing that has to do with just the sixty five percent layout. Install the alignment posts. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. It's very cold, so I'm happy. Is gasket mount like sandwich mount? No, they're pretty different, I would say. 
Oh no, this keeps popping out. Okay. Alignment posts. Stall. Are these supposed to be sitting? Hmm, how come this one is so flush? But these are not. Hmm. Wait a This one is sitting sweet. I'm so confused. Are there different? Oh, this is smaller. Wait a minute. What are these small screws for? Mr. Keycolt. There's two different sizes of these super small ones. I'm guessing that's the wrong one here. Unless this was meant for the... Oh, okay, this was meant for the daughter board. Just extra daughter board screws. I'm guessing the big ones go here. Okay. Yeah, I just... It was just an extra daughter board screw. Now I attach this... Oh, God. There is no... <laughs> Cable give here. Huh. I need to. Mm, okay. You want the pro tip? Yeah, this seems a little dangerous. Because <laughs> none of these are screwed in still. Oh, I think I got it. Do I got this? <laughs> oh, I don't want to drop this. Why won't this just click? That's why you are a boomer. Lay it flat? Okay, I laid it flat. Lay it flat? I can't see this thing. Grab the PCB with your left hand. Oh, and like this? Oh, but I'm not right-handed. This is awkward for me. Oh! Pro tip confirmed. I did it. I think it's in there. All right, this is why George is a pro. This is why George works for Keycult. Let me just confirm the daughter board is making contact. All right, keyboard works. Nice. That was scary. Number one employee. All right, now this top piece sandwiches. These. No, 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 no. I don't need the base plate. Ah, why did I build this on the base plate? Oh! Did this change? Now this won't come off. Wait a minute. 
Why is this stuck to the base plate? I didn't screw it. Though. I did not screw in any of the... No, none of these are screwed. Maybe it naturally screwed. I swear I did not touch any of these. Try turning it on and off. What? Did something happen on the front? have turned itself in you have bill sewing number twos i know wait now i'm just realizing ah oh, these alignment posts i don't even need to install them right now because i'm going to be flipping this over no i do need the alignment post wait i'm so stupid i am stupid Okay, yeah, I do need the alignment posts. And then I put the top piece on and then I flip over. <sighs> all right. It's been a while since I built a number two, all right. This is, this is a learning experience for all. For the few who get to build a number two. This is a, a living guide. This goes on top, and then we flip it over. Ah, yes. I was so fixated on getting the base plate screws down. All right. This is what all those KBD-75s have done. Time to roll three minutes of ads? Three minutes of ads? What? Make sure to alternate corners when screwing in. Okay, I think the corners have been gripped. Should be good now. My soda just exploded in my room. What? Why not make a PCB with integrated USB-C? Because this starter board lays parallel to your desk while your PCB does not. You would be asking Kiko to come up with a PCB that bends in that case. That is one of the uh, benefits with going with the uh, daughter board mechanism like this. You can place the port and the daughter board wherever you want independent of how the PCB is positioned. It also lets you place it arbitrarily. Yeah, that's also true. It also lets you arbitrarily position it wherever. OK, 
Okay, let me just tighten all of these. It's time for me to go. Brain's not working, just like Nathan's. Okay, buddy. Is there a Space Invader sub? I believe there are a couple, yes. Also, if the auto board connector breaks, it's easier to replace. That's also true, yes. Uh, if you have a daughter board plus main PCB configuration, it kind of modularizes what you need to work on. Before you place the bot on, make sure you tuck in the cable. Got it. Tuck in the cable. And then this bot should be flush. Nice. All right, let me go through. Why does this not feel like it's... Oh, because I'm using the wrong screw. <laughs> Alright, make sure you don't over tighten these base plate screws. I'm guessing it still applies. Alright, remember for the first number two, they made it very clear. You could strip this if you over tighten. So gotta be careful. Right. Just until you feel a little bit of resistance. That's all you need. Yo, hello. Love from Malaysia, hello. All right. Moment of truth. Okay, base plate is on. Oh, that was scary. All right. I think it's. Oh no, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. The bump bonds of the feet. Markings on the brass and the aluminum are, are called tool patterns from the CNC process. Ah, oh, is that the technical term? Tool patterns. There you go. I did ask earlier what the term for this was. Of 
Grove made mostly does EDC type products. Ah, uh, I don't know if that's true. I would say Grove made, I don't know if there's a term for it, but they do a lot of desk, they do a lot of setup accessories. I don't think they have many EDC stuff. I wouldn't call them an EDC. Yeah, they have like floating shelves, desk pads, mouse pads, uh, risers, laptop holders, that kind of stuff. Office? Yeah, office. All right, feet have been applied. Let's install the rest of the keycaps. Before we do, let's bring back the desk mat. This beautiful natural linoleum Keycult X Grove made desk mat. And we are almost done, chat. Time is almost coming to First time watching you live, mate. Love from Melbourne, Australia. Just sitting down with my morning coffee and going through work emails while you build this beauty. Hello, good morning. This looks so amazing. This is, this might be one of my favorite key cult combinations I've seen to date. Ooh, should I bring out all my number twos? I own all of the public number two models. Should we do a family photo? No? Why, a family photo? Or should I just save that for the gram? Maybe I'll save it for an Instagram photo. It's not every day you see a family of number twos. I have received my number two that I shipped out. It is finally back in my position. So modern Dolch and uh, Muted are back on the table. Why don't black so lit? Yeah. Will this make me game faster though? Oh, short shift. Why don't black slowly? Are you blessing the keycaps with your nipples? Yes. I always forget here. Let's do backspace, delete, page up, page down. Oh, this page down has been, it's been used quite a bit. And then function key. Right there. All right. Almost done, boys. Boys and girls. up a little bit so the typing test area looks nice uh, remove this go away cable all right can we get the uh, words per minute bot the live mods keys look kind of dirty uh white on black is a really hard keycap set to photograph it's also the lighting it, it's just the way it just it just catches light it looks a little dirty dang how do i take a picture of this let's do the back because it has the grove made logo right oh wait alex <laughs> alex's setup is shining off 
Hold on. Uh... Okay, let's try this. Is this it? Key cult. Oh god, the lighting is okay right there. Key cult X Grove me. Wait, wait, wait. Still looks the same. Three, two, one, boom. All right. Uh, let's weigh this. Some we have some we have a lot of new folks. They might be curious. How much does a a high end custom mechanical keyboard kit weigh? Given that it has some brass components. Let's see, completely built. This keyboard weighs 2,575 grams. Five pounds, 10.9 ounces. For a 65% keyboard. Oh, cable. Should I open this? It's brand new. I have to ship it back. Should I just use my cable? And uh, let's just leave it unopened. Oh, wrist rest. Yes, wrist rest. Wrist rest. Ooh, look at this. Wrist rest. Perfect fit for the 65% with this desk mat. Use your cable? Yeah, I'll just use my cable. There's no need for me to open it, really. Uh, let me do. Let me show off this a little bit. This is what it looks like from the top. Front profile. Side profile. It's a fingerprint magnet. <laughs> Look at this USB port. Precision. That is what you call precise. Ooh. Absolutely perfect. Okay, my light. Bottom. Was this fabricated in-house key cult? Yes, it was. type all right oh I gotta point the mic down for the typing sounds test this is the typing test of the key cult and grove made collaboration number 265 built with brass plate novel keys creams housings lube 205 grade zero springs lube GPL 103 I believe by Mr. George himself, Grove, a uh, key cult. Grove made natural linoleum desk mat under on top of five regular desk mats. Grove made X key cult wooden slash aluminum wrist rest. Keycaps are GMK white on black. This is what this sounds like. Oh, brass, sorry, black, wood, and brass wrist rest. I thought it was wood, it was very heavy. Dude, look at the way my hands look on this. This looks so beautiful. I'm not shipping this wrist rest back. The wrist rest is walnut and brass, all right. Well, I don't know if Grove made folks are watching. Uh, I don't care if they never work with me. I am keeping this one of one wrist rest. This is what this sounds like. Oh, caps lock is on, really, really, Oh, we do do.
Oh, we do, we do, we do, we do. Oh, I was hovering at 150 for solo and I just choked. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How crazy solo? Yeah. All right, I got. I think I gotta raise my chair a little bit. I have poor ergonomics right now. It's this wrist rest. I'm not used to this wrist rest meta. Oh, what is up with my accuracy? Hold on. Oh, I Okay, last one, last one. I promise last one, last one. No! I've tamed. Okay, I haven't eaten yet, to be fair. 135. It feels bad. I think it's the wrist rest. I want to keep using it so I place my hands down. But then I go back to lifting. Alright. These are what the mods sound like. Build sounds dank. It sounds good. It probably sounds scratchy on mic. I'm pretty sure it's picking up a lot of scratchy sounds, but uh, it should go away with a couple months of use, mostly. Does the quality of spring affect the ping it makes? Yes. A lower quality ping, I am led to believe bad springs can ping more, but you can uh, lube it away. You can lube the problems away. One more typing test, one more typing. I gotta break 140. One more. Oh my. My goodness, didn't break 140. I'm very down to blame George. I blame George's loop job. I was hitting 140s last week. Now I'm back to sub 140. George's lube job makes me slower confirmed. I swear I haven't seen 
Dude, I've been breaking 140 the past week. <laughs> Throw the keyboard away. <clears throat> oh my, Chongosaurus, thanks so much for the five get the subs. All right, let me bring back the music. How do you guys like this? Look at this awesome collab. This looks nice. I mean, I, don't, I know a lot of people are big into the dark theme setup aesthetic, minimal aesthetic. I love tech aesthetic. This is it right here. Is this peak setup performance? Oh my, Tim Keyless, thanks for the five get the subs too. Not a wrist rest guy, but that thing is not, yeah, same. I am also not a wrist rest person, but this is just too beautiful to not have on your desk. The way the walnut looks with the uh, the black brass, with the gold accents, very clean logos from both brands. It's beautiful. Even the bottom, this looks so nice. Very tastefully done. Whoa, S Sar, John, thank you so much for gift the subs too. Whoa, thank you, thank you. It's a gentleman's, oh, let me weigh this. This is heavy. <laughs> this is brass. In case you guys are wondering how heavy this was. So the keyboard was five pounds, 10.9 ounces, I think. This, this is half the weight of the keyboard. <laughs> Two pounds, 11.4. Or 1,230 grams. This is half the weight of the keyboard. <laughs> Imagine. Whoa, why is everyone gifting? Senko Floof, thank you so much for the five gift of subs. Holy moly. Uh, emergency, how to disable caps lock on an HHKB keyboard. I don't know if you can disable caps lock. You just press the caps lock key. You can switch the positioning of caps lock, but I don't think you can disable it. Uh, does the desk mat overlap your other ones? Yes, I do still have my five desk mats underneath it. Is the giveaway worldwide? Uh, I would check the website. I would assume it is though. I don't, I don't recall seeing a restriction. What is up? Key Realtor Holy. Thank you so much for the nine gift of subs. What? Thank you, thank you. We hit the hype training coming. Wow. All right, for those of you guys tuning just in, let me show on this camera. This is what it looks like. Side profile. It's the back. Black and brass, so nutty. Chongosaurus, thank you so much for the five. Give the subs again. Stop. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Pumpkin, thanks for the bits as well. Sleepy Saki, thanks for the five months. Do you love me? Yeah, I love you, Sleepy Saki. All right, do you guys want this? Yes or no? There's a surprise. I'm giving away 10 of these. <laughs> Ed saying no. <laughs> All right, how well liked this key cult and grove made in this chat? Yes or no? Looks like a hard yes. Wow. Oh, family photo? <sighs> nah, never mind. I don't want to. Chat, they don't seem too excited about a family photo. I'm just kidding. I don't have 10 to give away. Actually, I actually do have to return this. Feels bad. I believe Mike also said he had to return his too, so. Unfortunate, but as mentioned, uh, key cult will be retailing these. Not without the Grove Made branding, just the keyboard, not this wrist wrist. Uh, soon, so make sure you sign up for the newsletter on Key Cult's website, keycult.com. Uh, give Grove Made a follow as well. Check out their socials. Check out their website. Uh, I'm a big fan of both brands, and I'm not saying that because I'm sponsored by Key Cult, but I genuinely like both brands. You might be getting something soon. All right. <laughs> Love the sport? Same. <laughs> DN? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, tomorrow streaming at 1 p.m. as well. Front paging. 
Mr. Dave 2D's keyboard will not release any information on it yet, but you guys can probably guess some stuff. It's Dave 2D. I did announce that it was with Dixie. I think that's it. Wednesday, normal stream time, so 10 a.m. on Wednesday. Uh, yeah. When is next subathon? I don't know about next subathon. It's Teal. Who knows? When are they releasing in Key Cult? No announced date yet. The best way to get notified of when they announce is to follow their socials, sign up for their newsletter, uh, also join their Discord. They are pretty uh, engaging with their community on Discord. You can join the Key Cult Discord if you'd like. Is he gonna be in the call? I don't think so. All right. Shall we go find someone to raid? Yeah, thank you to Keycult and GroveMate for letting me build this. Thank you, thank you. Go check out the uh, articles in the giveaway on GroveMate's website. GroveMate.com slash Keycult dash collaboration. Uh, Mr. Michael Soledad on YouTube also has a video out showing this as well. And I think George said, so. oh, I know who the other person is that's making a video, but someone else will be making a video on this pretty soon. <clears throat> Soran go live. How about rating someone who is also sponsored by KC? Let me check. Too many tabs. Who is live? Ooh, Miss Marcia is like poly single round three. Oh, I got hit with an ad. Nice. I can't even check what streamers are doing before now. I just get hit with ads. Let's go give Miss Marcia a raid. What should we spam in her chat? What's a good spam? Oh, I know. We love Key Cult and Grove Maid and all their accessories. Teha OMG. This is the spam message, all right? Oh, wait, feed the cats, feed the cats. I need to feed the cats. Oh, 